Are you looking for a solution to manage your digital photos? Maybe it's time to look at something the pros use. I'm here to give you a quick review about SmugMug to see if it is the photo management software you've been looking for. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, a photo estate planner with Pixology. We are your go-to experts for software, ideas, motivation to help you preserve your family photo collection. In a quick nutshell, SmugMug is a unlimited photo storage website that allows you to create a personalized website where you can view your photo collection. I first heard about SmugMug in a photo contest that I entered back in 2009. The company that organized the contest used SmugMug to display the photos. You can see they have a website for the contest and when I click on the best of 2009, you can see these pictures here, the, the tulips by Molly and the blues. Those were the topics of the contest. I won that photo contest twice that year. Smug Mug falls into what I call the photography community photo management solution. If you've watched my photo organizing options, link is up above if you haven't, you'll know that these are software management solutions that I really don't know if they're the right choice for a family photo collection. I included Smug Mug in my list of programs to review because it was listed as one of the top photo management solutions out there. I was skeptical, could this really be a good solution for family photos? Well then, I found a review of SmugMug and she wrote, I find that SmugMug is far superior to Dropbox. Now, if you're using Dropbox, I promise you, you will love SmugMug as an option for your pictures. Before we dive into SmugMug, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear about other programs I'll be reviewing and see what else we've got to motivate you to save your family memories. With each of my reviews of these photo management options, I am reminding you that there are two very important things I feel are necessary to preserving your family photos right. The first thing is, is you need to have one digital home for everything, and that's usually going to be some sort of photo management software, app, or website. The second thing is, is you need to work with that solution routinely so you remember the tips and the tricks of working with it and you can remember where you left off the last time. I want to give you a quick overview of the SmugMug platform. We're looking at the main SmugMug screen and user interface, okay? I am in the photos view. You can see the word photos is in green and you can see all my recent photos that I've uploaded. It's nice, you can search by title, caption, or keywords. You can also click on the filter view to hone down which pictures you want to look at by the capture date or um, the type, either photos or videos you could look at. So that's handy and it's very simple. The next view is organize. So now we're in the organize view. I've got a folder here of historical photos and then I have what looks to be albums of pictures by year. On the left hand column you see photo site homepage. This is where we are actually building the website to view our photos. So there's the folder of historical photos and then my three what I consider albums but SmugMug calls them galleries. On the left hand side at the top here, you can click create and you could create a new gallery or a new folder or for you advanced users, a web page. Then when you go into the photo site tab, this is where you get to preview your actual website. And I'll scroll down here. Remember those four items that were in my left hand column, the historical photos, you can see them all right here. I could add a cover photo and even my profile picture and I just haven't done that yet. 
Well, that's just a quick overview of the interface that you would work with if you are using SmugMug for your family photo collection. When I review a photo management software or app, I have four essential things that I'm looking for. The first thing is, is you need to be able to organize your pictures by albums or folders. We just talked about that, right? In the Organize view, you can click Create or Upload. I'll just click Upload and we'll click Upload Folders. When you upload a folder from your computer, you are uploading the pictures into a gallery. So now you can see the Thanksgiving Memories is a new gallery on my Smug Mug homepage here. So I'm gonna just click view on photo site and now we'll scroll down and you can see there is the Thanksgiving memories. Smug Mug meets my first criteria, my first essential feature. You can definitely organize by folders and galleries on the website. The second essential feature that a program needs to have is the ability to edit metadata. This is the digital information that goes along with your picture. So let's go into this gallery called 1990s Paul and Molly. And I'm gonna click on this picture here. When I clicked on this information button, it's photo details, you can see I added Easter 1992, our Easter photo, and keywords of Molly Hartman, which is my maiden name back then, and Paul Bartelt. I also can see the date taken, but that was not 2011. I think this is a problem. Also, when I downloaded this picture, I could not see the keywords that I added or the description. So the information that you add in SmugMug stays in SmugMug. That means the program does not meet my second essential feature. It does not allow you to edit the metadata of a photo. The third essential feature of a photo management program is you really need to be able to ensure you have two backups of your pictures, one in the house and one outside of the house. So SmugMug is the backup, I guess you could say, outside of the house in the cloud. All of the work that you do isn't saved on your computer. It does not meet my third essential criteria for a photo management program. All right, the fourth essential feature is I have to like using the program. Now I think SmugMug is really pretty and in the website view, it's wonderful. The problem is I spend most of my time working in the organizing view when I am working with my pictures, right? And unfortunately, SmugMug's organizing view isn't really much fun to work with. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to say I, I don't like using it. I like looking at it though. So in terms of essential features, SmugMug only meets one of mine, and that was being able to organize by folders. When you're working with the photo management program, there's some other features that can be helpful, and I'll just touch upon them real briefly. An important feature of a program is the ability to edit pictures, and in SmugMug, you do have options to edit your photos. So we're gonna look and you can see we've got a finger in the view there. Well, I probably should Photoshop that out and maybe I will, but for our purposes, I'm gonna click on this wrench, which is the tools, and we're gonna open in the editor. And you do have a few options here. I don't see red eye correction, but I suspect that's because Smug Mug is operating on the fact that more photographers use this and probably edit their pictures before uploading them. So I click crop and there we go. And I'll just click save. And now look at that. We're a little closer in and we lost the blue sky, but I like that picture version as well.
The next feature that's helpful is the sharing option, and SmugMug does this well. Through your personal website, you can share links to anybody. They can look at the pictures, download them, and even print the pictures. Another feature that's helpful in a photo management program is facial recognition. SmugMug does not offer facial recognition. Then the last thing I like to touch upon is, does the program recognize duplicates? When I uploaded a duplicate with the same exact name, it definitely recognized that that was a duplicate. But I changed that picture's name on my computer and uploaded it again, and SmugMug thought it was a new photo. So it doesn't recognize duplicates, except if they're the same name. Overall, I really couldn't imagine using SmugMug and uploading 20,000 plus photos of my whole family history to the website. I just don't think that's practical. It would be better than Dropbox, for sure, except at least with Dropbox, you're saving a copy on your computer. The other thing is, is if you don't have access to the internet, you don't have access to your photos. And then there's one last point. A few years ago, SmugMug bought out the company called Flickr. And it's a reminder that these large companies get bought out in the photo world frequently. And what you get today for the money may not be the same in two years, five years, or if there's a new owner of your photo management company. Since your photos are being stored in their database, you are at the mercy if they make changes to their offering. I know people are using SmugMug for their family photo collections and they love it. And certainly there are millions of people using SmugMug for photography and selling prints. It's a great option out there. What do you think? Is it something that's good for family photo collections? Are you using it already? Leave a comment below because I would love to hear what you think. So that's my review of SmugMug. I hope you found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll see you the next time.